Hi everyone and welcome. Today is World Children's Day. To me, this is something really, really important because I'm so aware that children in the world today, it's like we have forgotten that children have rights and they have birth rights as well. We're treating children, it's like as if, you know, they're disposable in that, in that way, just you know, throw them away, we'll help them a bit, you know, and we leave it at that. But that's not good enough. And that's why to me today, World Children's Day is so special to awaken everyone. And especially I would love, you know, all the moms and dads out there, all the aunts and uncles, you know, grandparents, you know, to, to look at your own children and look at the birth rights that they have had in their life and then look at other children in the world, you know, maybe not even far away from you, that all their birth rights have been taken away or they never had any birth rights because their life, in a sense, the world at the moment, we have it, which is so sad that a child's life has no value. And to me, that is just devastating. You know, even here in my own country, I have, how would I say, met a little boy that was nearly all black and blue. I have met children and parents, you know, and, you know, a child will say, you know, I'm hungry, but there is nothing in the press. There is nothing in the fridge. You know, that was a little boy I met one time here in Ireland. And he told me he was at home alone. You know, his parents weren't around for certain reasons. And every day after school, he'd get up in a chair and he'd open the press doors and he'd reach in to see was there any food left. But every time it was empty. And when he was at school, he would get lunch from all the other children, but nobody knew what was going on. And to me, this shouldn't even be happening in Ireland, but we have it happening all over the world. You just have to watch the news. You know, children are hungry. You know, children are saying, you know, what did I do wrong? You know, because maybe their parents have been killed. Maybe their home is gone. Maybe every possession they have is gone. And they're, they're lost. They're asking the question, what did I do wrong? through tears and I know the world and I know you everyone is is trying to help them but we have to do more governments have to change you know the birth rights of a child I, I know I have written 21 different birth rights for for children and they're all so simple and and one of them is for a child to be happy a child to be able to play you know, to be able to go to school, to learn, to have a roof over its, have, its head, to, you know, have medical care. And even today, I know so many children don't even have medical care. And to me, that's, that's horrific. They're, they're left in pain. They, they don't know what's happening to them. And that's not just in countries where there's war, because we know of all of that. It's even in countries where there is no war. There's all these waiting lists for children or a child is not entitled to it because of some reason or, or another. And there's so much that has to change that we have to give children their birthrights, their birthright to be loved and to be cared for, and their birthright to be a child, to be able to laugh and play and not to be hungry and not to be afraid, not to be in tears constantly. You know, what's happening in the world today is just, it's just horrific. And 
we want that to change. Like, you know, I could tell you so many stories. I could tell you another story about, you know, even children should, you know, have the right in school to be able to enjoy school and for there not to be discrimination against them. And yet, that birthright for, should be for every single child, and yet it's not there. There is just so, so many things that just tear my heart, especially when I see a child crying, or sometimes when I meet a child, I'm somewhere else in the world, and, you know, I give them a hug. And then they cling on to you so tightly. They don't want you to let them go because they can feel that love. And you might say, oh, that's impossible. You know, the children around you, you love and you hug. But you have to remember there is, I have to say, millions of children in the world that aren't being loved, aren't being hugged. They're so lonely, so desperate, and they're bewildered. And imagine yourself being, being bewildered as a child. Every child has the birthright to life, and yet that birthright we are taking away. And we can see that, you know, with the wars in the countries, in different countries, we can see that when even there's a world disaster, an earthquake or a flood, we all rush to help. But it's like at a certain point, we don't help anymore. We think everything is fine. But the thing is, it, it's not. Not for children. Not for children when they have lost their parents, you know, aunts and uncles or brothers and sisters. They're, they're completely lost and we still have to continue to help them. And for me today, World Children's Day is such a very, very special day. And I love the word, you know, it was said to me, be called to action. So I'm calling on all of you to action, no matter what circumstances you are living in and your children. Your children might have some birthrights. Probably not them all. And that's the truth. Probably not them all. But even if they have some and you have some, I'm going to call you to action to help the Lorna Byrne Children Foundation so we can help more children and continue to do so. Because today is such a special day. It's World Children's Day. It's to, what would I say, ignite a spark in your heart of love and compassion and hope. So I'm asking you as well to be that light of hope for children in the world that have no birthrights at all, because I can tell you there's millions of children that have no birthrights at all. And even for the children that have some birthrights, like your own, that have lost what they had. They have lost their parents. They've lost their home. They're so bewildered standing in the middle of, of disaster. And they're crying. And in tears, they're saying, what did I do wrong? And the child did nothing wrong. It's the world that has done wrong. It's the adults that have done wrong. It's hatred and anger and wanton revenge for the past when we should be coming together in love. I don't know why we're hurting our children the way we are, why we're even murdering them the way we are, why we are enslaving them. Why are we doing so many horrific things to the children of our world? So I'm calling you to action. Right now, this very minute, this day, World Children's Day, 
to help the Lorna Byrne Children Foundation so you and I can help children, so you and I can save the life of a child and give it a future, put a smile on its face, put the sparkle in its eyes that it laughs and is loved. So thank you very much. God bless and love you all.